Hey everybody, Mr. Bast here. I am just at the Oakdale Nature Center. It's out here, Discovery Center's right back there. I'm gonna do a little crash course here for you on using the cameras. And uh, I'll look, I'm gonna record a series of videos here that show um, different things to operate on the camera. All right, so to start with, once you get the camera out of the bag, you're gonna wanna take the lens cap off. Always put the lens cap back on you know, when you're not using the camera just to keep that front of the lens clean. Um, that's where all the pictures are coming through, so you don't want to have that get um, smudged at all. On the top of the camera, you're going to find a few different things that you'll want to know about. Uh, first of which is the on-off switch. Be careful because the lens will extend here, so you want to avoid you know, having your hand kind of in front of that, uh, blocking that lens from extending. On the side of the camera, you're gonna find the mode dial. So for the most part, we're going to be operating within P, TV, AV, or M. And as you get more comfortable with the camera, I'm gonna be pushing you towards using M because that's where you have full control of the camera settings. Other things that are important to know on the top, when I say uh, mode dial, I mean this. This is changing the mode on the camera. The uh, setting dial is right here. Um, so that is a little that you can kind of go back and forth on, okay? On the top here, we're gonna have a couple different things that you'll wanna know about. This is the shutter button, so this is gonna be what takes the picture. Um, you press down halfway to get a focus. You may hear a little beep, depending if the sound's turned on or not. You press down all the way to take the picture, okay? This is the zoom on the camera, so you can zoom the camera in. This is a 50 times optical zoom, so it's got a really good zoom or you can turn it the other way to go wide. So when you turn the camera on, that's as wide as it'll get. But going this direction, that'll zoom it in. That direction will zoom it out. On the side of the lens, you've got a couple different buttons. One of them is for changing how the camera focuses, and the other one is for stabilizing the camera as you're zoomed in. So um, if I click on the back side here, this bottom button, that's gonna be the focus button, so it's gonna change it. So you could have it be uh, a larger block focus. See how it's just focusing on the middle there? The uh, box turns green when you have a focus. Um, or I can switch it to have a kind of a different kind of focus where the, we're letting the, the camera decide what it wants to be focused on. Uh, so, the top button here, this is what you can hold to stabilize the camera while you're taking a zoomed in picture. So if I zoom the camera in here and I hold that at the same time, it's gonna be helping to stabilize the camera while I take the picture. So that's just uh, a nice thing to know about. All right, so those are two buttons on the side that you'll wanna know about. All right, so then um, on the back side of the camera, we have a few different things you wanna know about. The menu button, that's going to be how you get to a lot of the different settings within the camera. Uh, for the most part, we won't need to do much within there. You can hit the menu button again to get back out. ISO is really important, so that's one of our three settings. So we can change our ISO by clicking the ISO button and going back and forth. We'll see how the light changes in the, the picture as we go higher or lower. Then um, after we're done with that, we can just hit the shutter button to get out of it. That's a really high ISO, so I'm gonna lower that one down. On the side of the, uh, kind of the circle here, we've got a little symbol that stands for switching our focus mode so we can go macro. So you can focus on things really up close to the camera. Or we can switch to do manual focus. Or we can do normal focusing, okay? Uh, the other buttons here, we've got one that stands for flash. To fire the flash, you need to put the flash up first, but then this little symbol on the uh, circle allows you to change if you want to actually have it, you know, turn on or off after you've put the flash up here. And then down below here, this is the info button. It's a way to change how much information shows while you're looking through the frame. And even when you hit the play button, which is how you see your pictures, you can hit the info button to be able to see your settings or not, and even see uh, your histogram. Okay, so that's a real 
quick crash course on operating the camera. I'm going to be filming a few more videos here to kind of explain um, how you'll change some of the settings within the different modes.